Oh, hey. Howdy, y'all. This is Chris Gillis again, and I'm here with Off the Wall News. Here we go. Thank you, Chris, and welcome to Off the Wall News. I am Brandon Garside. And I'm Lindsay Garside. <laughs> it's official. Subway has surpassed McDonald's Corporation as the world's largest restaurant chain. Meanwhile, Subway's Jared has gone missing, and police say that the handwriting of the ransom note point to the Hamburglar. The Utah Jazz squared off against the New York Knicks last night, and it was a close game. Right until the tip-off. Sarah Palin has stated that the press has, that the press to the press that rumors that she does not know Africa is a continent are lies. When asked for an interview, she stated she would not be able to she would not be able to take questions as she had an important dinner with that evening with the Prime Minister of Europe. In health and science news, five boys unable to urinate due to pelvic injury remain cured up to six years after getting, getting new lab-grown urethras. Ever since the transplant, they have, they have had strong desires to drink from drip bottles and run on stationary wheels. Apparently, it, is also, it has also won the boys' first place in their school science fair. Facebook is making a lot of changes lately. You can say goodbye to the share button because the like button is taking over. What we really need is a dislike button to hit Sarah Palin and Glee with. Oh yeah, and Jay Leno. It's Mardi Gras! I don't know much about it, but apparently it's like Pioneer Day in Louisiana. And now, and now we go to the weather with your friend and mine, Richard Head. Richard, take it away. We got uh, lots of uh, weather uh, brewing around uh, here. And uh, if you all see on uh, your uh, uh, hills, uh, Portland's at uh, uh, 37 here. And uh, no match for Seattle's uh, 38. And uh, if you all see all down here in uh, Salt Lake City area, we have uh, here it was 30, 35 degrees, and uh, apparently that 56 is going to uh, stay in Vegas because everything there stays there. And uh, we got all these down here in, in, in LA, uh, 77 here, and then fruitcakes down there in San Francisco. <laughs> Uh, 62. Now, if you'll see here, our uh, wonderful weather map is, uh, what, what is this? Uh, dang old rainbow? Yeah, uh, what is it? Uh, gay, uh, homo, homosexual weather going on around uh, Richard? here. Richard? <laughs> Richard? <laughs> Richard? Well, um, thank, thank you so much for the weather. We'll, we'll be back to you in a minute. You don't talk to Richard like that. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on, uh, now for the Charlie Sheen news. Charlie Sheen has been in the news like crazy this week, and it's been announced that Due to his behavior and other factors, he is fired from the hit CBS show, CBS sitcom, Two and a Half Men. That's right. Until further notice, there will be no new episodes of Two and a Half Men, which means that Jersey Shore is now the worst show on television. <laughs> Speaking of Two and a Half Men, recent investigation into Charlie Sheen's drug usage revealed that in one night, Charlie Sheen snorted enough cocaine to kill Two and a half men. <laughs> Recent toxicology reports show traces of blood in Charlie Sheen's cocaine stream. Speaking of drug use, President Obama is having a difficult time keeping, keeping the Congress together long enough to vote. All you have to do is throw in some Lunchables and a handful of hookers in the, in the room and they'll stay until Christmas. <laughs> NASA has plans to keep on working on Mars exploration. Budgets permitting, maybe we should climb the country, maybe we should climb the country out of debt before we go looking for Tupac on Mars. Yep, that's right. Tupac's still funny. <laughs> and now back to the weather with your friend and mine once again, Richard Head. Richard, how are things going over there today? Well, things are not going very well around here. Let me tell you what's her brewing. We got the snow coming down. We got things a brewing. And as you can see here, Portland is still at 37 degrees. Now, I don't know what to make of all this, but as you see our seven day forecast up in here, we got a lot of things are happening. Pac Man here is going to go ahead and eat those snowballs right on through to Saturday. 
Friday brings us wonderful things. And let's not even talk about those days. But right now, all I have to tell you is that the weather is going to be a wonderful day. Back to you. Thanks, Dick. Big news, Microsoft has fixed four bugs. Keep going, Bill, and your PCs might one day hold, hold the candle to max. Oh, and that's right. It's time for a bull haircut versus turtleneck showdown. Justin Bieber, just... Just won MVP at the Celebrity, celebrity All-Star Basketball Game. Thanks, teeny boppers everywhere, everywhere for ruining yet another wholesome activity. Morgan Freeman was upset to learn that in his new movie that he was supposed to star, um, that he was supposed to star in, he has been replaced by James Earl Jones' voice and a poppy seed muffin. That is the off-the-wall news for tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by. And remember, you can catch us Friday nights at 10.30 in Ogden and Saturday nights at 10.30 in Draper. Thank you so much once again. Peace out. Junction City Live, and we have entered into the dark room where we keep all our stand-up comedians. Here is uh, Jared Christian. Sin. Sin. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Huh. It's good to be here today. I'd like to say that this isn't my uh, first time on national broadcast type situation, but unfortunately I've had one experience with it, and I know that's why everybody that's watching tonight is watching. I know you've all seen me on TV before. Uh, it's a really good show. It's, uh, it's called uh, To Catch a Predator. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, after I got out of prison. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people, it's, it's pretty funny. I'm kind of losing my mind right now. <laughs> Let me think real quick. Hang on. Yeah, okay, yeah. A lot of people see me and they think certain things, you know, it's kind of hard. Um, but, you know, I, I liken it to like a police officer. You're driving down the road, people see a cop, what does it remind them to do? Put the seatbelt on, you know? Like Gillis, though, he was telling me when he sees a cop when he's driving down the road, it reminds him that he's got to hurry and finish his beer real quick. <clears throat> but I don't know. People do that same kind of reaction with me, though, but it's usually more like, People see me, and it reminds them that they didn't eat breakfast this morning. <laughs> or they're really hungry right now. I just don't understand why they would think that. <laughs> I saw that shot. Beautiful. Anyway. Uh, yeah. But it's actually pretty convenient being a fat guy. Uh, a lot of people feel sorry for me. You know, they come up to me and apologize when I'm just walking down the street, you know. Uh, it's actually pretty convenient. You go into a restaurant, you get top-notch service all the time, no matter what. See waitresses fighting for your service outside. They're like, no, I got him. You know, they're scoping you out on the way in. It's pretty convenient, but there's more conveniences than just, you know, eating. People don't understand it. It's pretty convenient. Because uh, for me, when I drive down the road, I like to text and drive. I don't know what the big deal is about that. But uh, I like to text and drive a lot when I drive down the road. And, and usually when I do it, oh, I don't have my phone with me. That sucks. This is my cell phone driving down the road, right? And uh, <laughs> talking on it or texting. And, I, you know, if you're driving, you know, everybody that texts and drive, because I know that not just me does it, but if you're texting and driving, right, you're going to put your phone down on your lap or something like that, and you don't want to miss out on it. Turn, you slide phone slides down next thing you know you're not just texting and driving you're like looking for your phone and driving swerving all over the road so it's really convenient I have a beautiful hiding spot that not very many people know about I'm driving down the road and instead of putting it in my pocket because I hate trying to reach in my pocket to find it I just tuck it right here right underneath my right underneath my belly like that and then you can drive just fine 
And it's really convenient too because even if my phone's on silent, I can still know when it's ringing because the vibration starts like rippling right through my body. <laughs> Next thing you know, my teeth start chattering. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay, yellow. Uh-huh, okay. It's actually more convenient too because a lot of times if you're, uh, you know, you're a stand-up comic, no, you're not, but uh, I don't know what that has anything to do with anything right now. <laughs> a little stage fright right now. Not really. I like to act like it. But it's really convenient, though. You order something on the Internet, and it seems like every time you're on the Internet or every time you order something and you're expecting a package, it always shows up when you're in the shower, right? So what do most people do? They have to get out of the shower, like wrap the towel around them, you know, do the whole routine. Me, on the other hand, I just get out of the shower, Grab my towel. It's not usually a paper towel. I can just tuck it right here, right underneath my belt. I just walk right out, and I'm like, hey, is that package for me? How about you? Do you need a package? Anyway, I'm Jared Christensen. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'll be at Mojo's Cafe this Saturday, March 12th, 8 p.m., so come check it out. There's going to be live comedy, live music, so please come check it out. This is Junction City Live. Yeah! Thanks.